This is the most deserted I have ever seen in Japan anywhere. So good morning guys. Um, this is my second day here in Sapporo. I wasn't sure if I was going to vlog today because I'm very tired. But um, I just wanted to show you guys the street because it is really quiet and pretty cool actually. So I'm loving Sapporo so far. I just had a walk through Hokkaido University which was really super pretty. Lots of nice trees and everything like that. Um, and also just there's lots more gardens here. It's super super quiet. Um, so yeah, so it's really lovely. I like it so far. Um, I'm just heading off to um, lunch with someone who I know off Twitter. Um, before when I was in Perth um, someone who I followed was basically like, look, you should follow these two people, they live in Japan. So I did, um, and one of them lives here in Sapporo, and then we organised to meet up today, and then we actually realised that the school that I'm attending um, to learn some Japanese, he actually works there. What a coincidence. A huge coincidence. I've never met him before, um, but we're going out for soup curry. So soup curry is like a specialty of Sapporo. It's like a um, kind of very thin curry-like soup, I guess, just like the word suggests. Um, yeah, so I'm off to meet him and some of his friends, have some lunch, and then I'll probably just go wandering again. And um, yeah, I'll show you guys a bit of Sapporo. Look at all the green, guys. So many trees and nature. about a 15 minute walk from my house. So I'm just standing here waiting for people to arrive and I'm stood between two soup curry places so the smell is ridiculously good. Plus, Sapporo, what are you doing to my hair? Hey guys, so I'm here at Costco. So I'm here with my new friend Chris. Hello. Um, I met him off Twitter before I came here and he lives here in Sapporo and he said, I'm going to Costco today, do you want to come? And I've never been to one and I'm very excited, and I'm assuming that everything will be in giant packaging. Look, it's duct tape, duct tape. Marbling. Oh my Giant pizzas. I need to put my hand in there for scale. <laughs> like, oh my god, this thing is huge. <laughs> Guys. Look how big the potato chips are. Guys, I just found a, how big is this bag? 56 One ounces. And One and a half kilos of M&Ms. I really want them. Uh-oh. So I managed to make it through Costco without buying any giant packets of M&Ms or chocolate. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, I did buy a couple of things which I'll show you guys when I get home. Um, yes, yeah, so this was my first trip to Costco. It was pretty fun.
Okie dokie guys, I'm going to show you what I got at Costco today. So first of all, I picked up some shampoo and conditioner. This is the Burt's Bees stuff. I really like this stuff because it's sulfate free, um, which means it's better for your hair. This is the pomegranate one, which is for volumizing. Next, we have a really giant container of blueberries. Oh my gosh. So this is just over 500 grams of blueberries. So normally when I get them at home, I get them in packs that are like half the size that way and probably like half the depth as well. So I don't reckon they come in more than like 100 gram packs at home. But anyway, I got this 510 gram pack of blueberries for 528 yen. So like five bucks. That is amazing. You pay like seven bucks for those little 100 gram ones at home. Thoroughly impressed. I might actually have to freeze some of these because I doubt I'm going to get through them quick enough, but I'll have those just for snacking on and also to put in my smoothies. Next up, we've got bagels. Now, for those of you who watch lots of my videos, you probably realize that I don't actually eat bread that often, but I do love an odd bagel. And they had these special on different flavors of bagels. I got the onion ones, but they also had cinnamon and raisin um, and a potato one, all sorts. But the onion one smells delicious. And I thought that I could actually just freeze these and maybe like once a week on like a Sunday have a bagel. Yum! So this bag of bagels cost me 340 yen. Okay, next up we've got these limes. They look and smell amazing. So I'm going to fill this up now with limes and have some lime infused water. I got just under a kilo of limes for that 700 yen. And the last thing I got from Costco is this giant, giant pack of mango chunks. Amazing. I'm so excited. So back home I would usually put frozen mango in my smoothies for breakfast. Um, but I haven't been able to find it since I've been here, so I've been using bananas instead. So I got this giant 2.2 kilo bag of mangoes for about 1,500 yen, so around $15, which is pretty good because back home I would get mango, which was around a kilo for $13. So this is like half the price pretty much of what I was paying at home and I'll just pop that in the freezer and I've got the next two months that I'm here in Sapporo so I'm sure I'll go through two kilos of mango if I have a mango smoothie every morning. So that's everything I got at Costco. I didn't go crazy. I didn't buy the giant bags of M&Ms even though I was really tempted to. Um, but I got some stuff that I'm really excited about. I love blueberries. I love mango. I love limes. I love bagels. I love shampoo and conditioner. I'm just pretty excited. So anyway, that was my little trip, my first ever trip to Costco. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. As always, if you want to keep in touch with all my Japan adventures, including hauls at Costco, which I wasn't even expecting, then make sure you subscribe. And then I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Ooh.